You'll use the features on the Advanced Design page to create your book one section at a time, adding photos and all kinds of other elements. In the center of the page is a large layout preview of the current spread. You can move through the different spreads in the section by clicking on the icons below. Along the top is a toolbar with access to all the major functions, and over on the left we have a variety of different design elements that are all dragged and dropped onto the page. To get started, you can simply click on a tab and then drag and drop. Click on different tabs and browse all the content that's available in all the categories and subcategories, and then drag and drop different elements on your page. You can combine layouts, backgrounds, photos, clip art, and design elements into your finished page designs. Remember to refer to the content reference guide for a complete overview of all of the available content. To add photos on your page, click on the Candidates tab, navigate the photos, and then again, simply drag and drop into an empty spot. You can also drag and drop a photo to replace another photo. Check marks on the photos keep track of which have been used in your book. When you click on a photo, you'll see a toolbar that provides access to all kinds of basic functionality and a lot more advanced functionality for designing your pages. Click on a text box and click on the T icon to add text. You can select your font, your size, style, and then use the toolbar for access to all kinds of other settings and effects. Undo and redo buttons allow you to move back and forth between your various changes. To create your panel pages, click on the Portraits tab and then click on the Portrait Wizard icon. The Portrait Wizard will appear, which will help you set up and lay out your panel pages. A separate help video inside the Portrait Wizard provides complete detail. You'll find that the Advanced Design page is easy to learn and use and provides all the functionality you need to create great looking designs for your yearbook. When you're finished, click on Save and Exit to return to the yearbook page. Click on Cancel and Exit if you want to leave without saving your changes. Click the Help icon and refer to the End User Guide as well as the Content Reference Guide or contact your yearbook provider for more information and assistance.